the project originated out of the February 6 tornadoes where we actually got debris, a debris signature out of the Lawrence County tornado um, and what uh, we can use this debris signature is to actually pinpoint the location of a possible tornado that's on the ground and give a forecaster more confidence that yes there's debris in the air there's likely a tornado on the ground. experiment we were hoping to see all the debris drop from the hot air balloons to see what the radar saw so, and knowing what was dropped. From the armor radar um, we can measure uh, a horizontal beam where it sends out horizontal and vertical um, orientations of the beam so we can tell the different shapes of the debris and so that's really how we can kind of track as it goes down. Hopefully then if there is a future tornado or if we go back to the February 6th case we can see the debris and know, all right, this is, you know, sticks, this is, you know, housing materials. Well, uh, the three drops we got, we have detected two on radar. The problem is that the balloon was also in the scan, so we'll have to work on a way to get the balloon separated from the actual debris. However, this is a very positive result, and we may be able to do, repeat this experiment again with a bunch more balloons or maybe even a helicopter. Currently, the National Weather Service radars only transmit in one direction, but our radar transmits in two directions, and the Weather Service is slowly upgrading to the two-direction uh, radars. That, this way, this can be implemented across the country, so it could be here in North Alabama, Oklahoma, Colorado, you name it, we can implement it anywhere.